Welcome to this life sciences tutorial at Math Zone African Motives. Today we're exploring one of the most important and relevant topics, human impact on the environment. We'll look at how human activities affect our atmosphere, water, food supply, and biodiversity. You'll also learn how these issues connect to global challenges like climate change, water pollution, food insecurity, and waste management, and how we can take action to protect our planet. Let's get started. 1. The Atmosphere and Climate Change Humans depend on the environment for survival. However, our population growth, industrialization, and technology have created an imbalance between our needs and nature's ability to provide. We consume more resources and produce more waste than ecosystems can handle, threatening life on Earth. 1.1 The Greenhouse Effect the atmosphere contains gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, and trace gases like carbon dioxide, CO2, and methane, CH4. These gases trap heat from the sun, a natural process called the greenhouse effect, which keeps Earth warm enough for life. However, excessive greenhouse gases cause the enhanced greenhouse effect, leading to global warming, a rise in the Earth's average temperature. 1.2. Causes of Increased Carbon Dioxide Burning fossil fuels for electricity, transport, and industry releases stored carbon into the air. Deforestation reduces the number of trees that absorb CO2 through photosynthesis, increasing its concentration in the atmosphere. 1.3 Causes of increased methane rice farming and landfills release methane from decaying organic matter in waterlogged soil. Livestock such as cows release methane during digestion. Coal mining also emits methane gas. 1.4. Effects of climate change. More evaporation, increased rainfall, floods. Melting glaciers, rising sea levels, coastal flooding. Increased wildfires, soil erosion and desertification. Loss of biodiversity. Species unable to adapt to rapid temperature changes. Frequent droughts. Crop failure and food insecurity. 1.5. The Carbon Footprint A carbon footprint measures the total greenhouse gas emissions produced by an individual, community, or company each year. Ways to Reduce Carbon Footprints Reuse and recycle materials to reduce fossil fuel use. Use public transport, walk, or cycle. Insulate buildings and use energy-efficient designs. Switch to solar or wind power. Plant trees to absorb carbon, carbon offsetting. 1.6. Ozone Layer Depletion The ozone layer protects life by absorbing harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, from aerosols, refrigerators, and packaging destroy ozone. Effects include increased skin cancer and eye damage. More UV light reaching Earth's surface. 2. Water Availability and Water Quality Water is essential for life but human activities have led to shortages and pollution. 2.1 Water Wastage Poor farming practices and leaking infrastructure waste water. Reducing pressure in pipes and fixing leaks can help. Public education encourages responsible water use. 2.2 Availability and cost dams increase water storage but may harm ecosystems. Boreholes provide groundwater but can dry up aquifers with overuse. Exotic plantations absorb large amounts of groundwater, lowering water tables. The cost of water rises with consumption, discouraging waste and ensuring sustainable use. 2.3 Water Pollution Domestic water often contains detergents and bacteria. Agricultural water contains fertilizers and pesticides. Industrial waste adds heavy metals, heat and oil. Mining releases acidic, toxic and hot water, a major pollutant. 2.4 Eutrophication Excess fertilizers lead to algal blooms, which use up oxygen in water. Low oxygen levels kill aquatic life and disrupt ecosystems. 2.5 Destruction of wetlands Wetlands store and purify water naturally. When destroyed, both water availability and quality decline. 3. Food security Food security means everyone always has access to safe, nutritious food. Food insecurity, 
when people face hunger or malnutrition, is caused by political instability, population growth, climate change, and poor agricultural practices. 3.1 Causes of Food Insecurity Rapid Population Growth Increases Demand for Food Alien plants reduce fertile land and water availability. Droughts and floods destroy crops and livestock. Soil erosion and loss of topsoil reduce productivity. Monoculture, planting one crop repeatedly, depletes nutrients. Food wastage during production and storage increases prices. Loss of wild varieties reduces genetic diversity. 3.2. Solutions to food insecurity crop rotation maintains soil fertility. Biological pest control avoids toxic chemicals. Genetically modified crops, GMOs, can resist drought or pests and increase yields. Organic fertilizers, compost and manure, enrich the soil naturally. Efficient food storage and fair distribution reduce waste. 4. Loss of Biodiversity Biodiversity refers to the variety of all living organisms, plants, animals and microbes, and the ecosystems they form. It provides food, medicine, oxygen, clean water and regulates the climate. 4.1. Causes of Biodiversity Loss Deforestation and Habitat Destruction from Farming and Urbanization Pollution and Climate Change Poaching and illegal trade of plants and animals. Invasive alien species outcompeting native ones. Monoculture and overgrazing. Mining and industrial expansion damaging habitats. 4.2 Consequences Collapse of Ecosystems and Food Chains. Loss of medicinal and economic resources. Decreased air and water quality. Reduced tourism and recreation opportunities. 4.3 Maintaining biodiversity control. Alien plants using mechanical, chemical, or biological methods. Sustainable resource use. Using what we need without depleting future supplies. Legislation and education. Protecting endangered species and promoting conservation. Ecotourism. Creates jobs and promotes preservation of natural habitats. 5. Solid Waste Disposal. Human population growth increases the production of solid waste such as plastics, paper, and metals. 5.1 Landfills Most waste ends up in landfills where it's buried. Rainwater can form leachate, a toxic liquid that pollutes soil and groundwater. To prevent pollution, modern landfills use plastic liners and cover waste with soil. Once closed, landfills can be rehabilitated into parks or recreational spaces. 5.2. Recycling and Reuse Recycling turns used materials into new products, glass, paper, metal, plastic. Reusing items reduces production costs and waste. Recycling creates jobs, saves resources, and reduces pollution. 5.3. Methane as a Resource Organic waste produces methane, which can be collected from dump sites to generate electricity or heat homes. 5.4. Nuclear Waste Nuclear power produces radioactive waste, stored in sealed containers deep underground. It requires strict management to prevent harm to living organisms. Conclusion Human activities have a direct and powerful impact on our environment, from the air we breathe to the water we drink and the food we eat. Issues like climate change, water scarcity, food insecurity, Biodiversity loss and pollution all stem from our unsustainable use of natural resources. However, the solution lies in our hands. By recycling, conserving water, protecting biodiversity, and reducing our carbon footprints, we can create a cleaner, safer planet for generations to come. Let's protect the Earth, because our future depends on it.